Welcome back to Ask Dr. Clark. Today's topic, isolation after a narc divorce. It is very common and very painful to be isolated and lonely after a divorce from a narc. It's exactly what the narc wants you to be. God doesn't. At the end of this video, I'll recommend some helpful resources. Okay, today's question. Hi, Dr. Clark, she says. I have been divorced from a narcissist for six months. Well, praise God for that. I have been in therapy for over a year via FaceTime. This is good. She says this has been a great help. Very good. In fact, we have a, a, a therapist directory on, on the website, davideclarkphd.com, Clark with an E, where we've vetted these therapists across the country and they understand narcissism and codependency and they're good people. I think she found one. She continues, I am by myself. And this is, this is classic. He, the narc, has turned all my friends in church against me. That's exactly what the narc does. He claims to be a Christian. Oh, you know he does. I doubt it. And has a ministry at the church. Of course he has a ministry at the church. Dirtball, hypocrite, sleaze bucket. They all think he's wonderful. I am now aware, as I began to realize the extent of his abuse, she says, and started to resist it, that he began a smear campaign against me to protect the illusion of the image that he exhibits outside the home. Yeah, beautifully said. This smear campaign, once he knows you're getting done and you're being more assertive, he'll begin that smear campaign. Because once you divorce him, he wants you to be alone. And he feels like he's won. At this point, she says, I am cautious in keeping people at an arm's distance, preferring to be alone yet lonely. You know what? When you've been burned like this, traumatized like this, it's hard to trust again, and that's okay. You're going to take it slow as you rebuild your life. She says, I have read Enough is Enough. Okay, that's good. That's uh, my, one of my classic books on, uh, I say classic, nobody else does, but they're classics. Classic book on narcissism and how to leave an arc. Her basic question is, how do I heal and move on great question my answer this is classic evil narc behavior he abuses you for years in the marriage and then isolates you with a smear campaign the narc wants to win he wants to punish you for divorcing him he wants you alone and miserable forever he wants you to regret divorcing him here's what i want you to do first leave behind all the fools and they are fools who have bought his lies about you your own family Friends, don't waste one second trying to convince these former friends of the truth or family. You're done with them. I don't care if it's your father, your mother, your stupid sister, your idiot brother. You're done with them. And I had a case the other day of a lady who I'm talking with her on the phone and, and she's, she's divorced and abusive. No, he was abusive for years. She told her family and her parent. Now, he's, she's just in the process. Like she's just left him and is in the divorce process. They sent the narc, and she's told her family, her two parents and her stupid sister, the truth about the narc. And it was his birthday, and, and she's left him already. And they, each of them, the parents as well as sister, sent him a birthday card. And her stupid father actually sent the narc some money. I said, cut these people off. Then, of course, she's figured this out. This is why you married this guy in the first place, because they abused you and you're used to it. You want people who hate your narc's guts and don't bother with them, but they're completely supportive of you. Anybody else is on his side. So don't waste time trying to convince these people. Simply cut them off and walk away. Can't trust these people. They have betrayed you. Ignore them. They're abusers too. Second, get my book, I Didn't Want a Divorce, Now What? I wrote it for this lady and all of you who have been through a divorce with a narc. Now it's a good book no matter who you've divorced, but if it's a narc, it's especially for you. It will show you how to heal, how to recover, how to build a new life, how to deal with your children, and how to deal with the narc after the divorce. You've got to heal from the trauma the narc inflicted on you. That's why I wrote this book. Here are the points why I wrote, I didn't want a divorce, now what? You have to heal from all the trauma in your life before you met the narc. This is also vitally important. It's not just the narc's trauma. That's part of it. Family of origin pain. Previous boyfriends and husbands who abused you. Friends who betrayed you, sexual abuse, rape, abortion, whatever's back there, you need to heal from it. You have to rebuild your identity, who you are, your self-esteem, your confidence, your respect for yourself, your dignity. You have to rebuild and renew your relationship with God. Nothing more important than that, of course, and it's also covered in this book. Venture pain with God. Ask Him questions. Wrestle with Him. That is fine. All through Scripture, we have people wrestling with God. David, Job, Paul. Get back on track with God. 
Also, you need to know how to deal with the narc after the divorce. They don't go away unless God takes them out. Literally, we you have to deal with them. He's not going to change. So you have to deal with them in edgy, assertive ways. This is also covered in this I Didn't Want a Divorce, Now What book. And of course, you have to build a new life for yourself. Third, find a new church and new friends. He's, he's won over, most narcs, they'll win over the church. They've been working at it for years. Oh, so they win. It's got to be your fault. Okay, you're, you leave that church behind. Don't bother meeting with the pastor. If he's on the narc side, you're done. And anyone who says something stupid and unbiblical like, well, there's two sides to this situation. I like your husband too. You're done with them. Hang the phone up. Walk away from them. If you're in the Walmart parking lot, you're done. No explanation. Again, 100% support or you're done with them. Person's destroyed your life. How in the world can they say that they're going to be friends with him? They will. Slowly, when you've chosen the new church and you're very careful, you sit in the back row and you ease your way in, you'll get involved, you'll begin to serve, you can do a ladies' Bible study, you're going to start maneuvering and finding people you can trust and God's going to guide you. You choose your new friends at church and at work very carefully. Very often, God will lead you to other women who have been who are with the narc now or, or have been with the narc and so they'll understand where you're coming from. Fourth, get into a, into a divorce care group at your church or another local church if church just doesn't have it. This is, gives you support and healing and it will make a big difference. Now, these groups aren't perfect. I wouldn't agree with everything they say, but most of the time it's solid. Make sure that, that the, the leader you have understands narcissism, understands abuse. Now, I've got two practical resources you can get only on my website, David E. Clark. PhD.com. That's Clark of the Name. Again, I mentioned again my book, I Didn't Want a Divorce, Now What? It's helping many divorced spouses heal and move on in new, happy, and healthy ways. And second, my brand new online video series, From Codependent to Independent. This is especially geared for those of you who are still living with an ARC and have not gotten out yet. This video series will get rid of your codependency, get you strong and assertive, get your children to stay close to you because the narc's trying to win them away and it also gets your kids ready to leave the narc. 